All right, so we're live. All right, uh, everybody want to talk about? We were watching uh, Killer Shrews from 1959. Uh, does anybody looked up anything about Killer Shrews? No, were we supposed to? Uh, yes, it was homework. Oh, I didn't get the memo. Well, you should have been that kid that you know at the end of class raises his hand and is like, "Teacher, do we have homework?" And you know the kid that everybody hates. Yes. But um, yeah, it was until nineteen uh, fifty nine in Texas. Oh, it's a Tejas. Low, oh, yeah. It's a low budget scary movie. Also, it was done back to back with uh, G- Attack of the Giant Gila Monster. I believe is what it's called. Anyway, here is the Killer Shrews. Everybody ready to watch oh, yeah. the Killer Shrews? Are we gonna be able to hear it? And yes. Okay. I, I've already set up the audio. In Alaska. And then invading steadily southward. I took some creative points from the Wizard of Oz, I see. The giant killer shrew. Ooh. Cartoon lightning. I'm already terrified. I don't know about you guys. I'm terrified I'm going to have to sit through this. (laughs) Well, anyway, uh, I did forget uh, why why these lovely... uh, uh, credits are going through. Uh, I'm Dr. Gonzo, uh, my lovely co-host. Oh, me. That, no, that was the, me. Yeah, poke him with a stick. Alright, and our great and wonderful talented co-host, our uh, guest host Patrick from Many Things He'll Tell You About. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? Thank you so much for watching this. Uh, Check out pleaserecordthis.com for any voice work you need done. Uh, also, check out Patrick Please One, P L E E Z One. Almost anywhere on the internet, you'll find me. Stereo Clapper, TikTok, and let's watch the shitty movie. <laughs> this movie's gonna be fantastic. Like I personally am excited. I'm already almost smelly. I'm already offended for Bo. <laughs> <laughs> Almost made my ears pop. Hurricane's got different ways of telling you it's there. Where is it? Yeah, I like how he's like, I can smell the quiet. What's that mean, us? My boy, that oh, I thought that was um, Hogan's Hero Guy. Isn't that Carl from Family Matters? <laughs> I doubt it. Remember, Char chose good holding ground, Clay. You know something? If this thing had an automatic pilot, I wouldn't have to put up with you. Then you wouldn't have no better to chew out. We should be there in a couple of hours. These mills of yours keep running. Look, automatic pilots can't play Dixieland jazz on them engines like I can. Huh. 59 didn't have good dental work. They had a night. Hey, there you go, Patrick. <laughs> Aren't you a uh, boat aficionado? <laughs> hey, Rock. Come look, there's land. <laughs> We're white. I'm going to go over there and I'm going to say I discovered it. Dude, there's people living there. No, no, discovered it. <laughs> I'll call. Man, that sure looks good. <laughs> Man named Craig is on this island, doesn't he? That's the name on the crate, Dr. Milo Craigers. We'll unload tomorrow. Dr. Milo Craigers. You going to ride stern too without a water under? That's right. That sea won't make up in that cold. That wind will have her whipping around like a kite. Let's go forward and break out the heavy weather hook. Track the heavy the weather hook. hook. Good. See, this is going to be the part where Patrick gives us, like, why the, uh, what heavy weather hooks are better. Like, well, if you get one at uh, Firehouse Subs, they actually sell one you can get for. That is the jankiest looking dock on the face of the planet. I'm going like... to, I'm just, uh, somebody just sneezing that thing will fall over. Hey, we got some extra popsicle sticks. What do you guys want to do? Let's make a fucking dock. <laughs> now we know why plywood's so expensive right now. <laughs> Good shit. It wasn't from making that dock. <laughs> oh, she'll ride like a duck. If she swings too far to starboard, we might have to take a check line to shore. Hey, Rook, take a slant up that trail. 
Uh, music. Always the dead giveaway. Why are there are people? I said I discovered this. <laughs> Hashtag never forget trailer to tears. <laughs> Want a smallpox blanket? Or, or, or as we like to say in the hood, it's mine. I found it. <laughs> no takesies backsies. He's like, I'm already in love. I don't know her. I've heard she has mental problems, but I'm still in love. Is she a thick goth chick? Because that's kind of... <laughs> He's like, I'm double strapped. I've got the pistol and the shoddy, homie. Manifest. Captain looks like a pilot. <laughs> Captain Sherman, this is my daughter, Anne Craig. Hello. Love interest nice. found. Oh, it's going to be nice having you aboard. I'm in love with your daughter. <laughs> I'm tired of looking at her and make her mine. But we're, uh, we're not leaving today. In fact, we're not even unloading. That load will cut the roll in half. Matter of fact, I'll just tap that one time before I dip. <laughs> you expecting an invasion? <laughs> yes, animals. Game or otherwise? Does somebody want to share this? Has anybody shared this yet? I don't even know no. where it is on YouTube. I think I like the page. Hear that? Shake the kinks out. He's like. Besides, I got some work left to do. You come ashore, wear a gun. Gotcha, gotcha. He's like, I already know something's gonna fuck y'all up. I'm gonna go hang out on the boat. If any What's... of y'all survive tomorrow, holler at me. I might come back, but probably not. <laughs> What's this page called? That's my pen. Uh, it's called something. <laughs> it's gotta be. Oh, never mind. I got it. Well, I need to share it too. I'm gonna send you the link. You're a link. He looks. You, about you act like you didn't know anything about it. What's the matter? Your set broken down? You've been up communication for more than a week, Captain. Oh. Can't be fixed. It's totally out of commission. My assistant. Mr. There you go. I sent Jerry it to both Jerry. of you. I've saved the day. Father, perhaps the captain would enjoy it. On the island, thing. Well. Of course. Will you join us in a cocktail? Well, I've never been known to turn down a drink yet. <laughs> I'm an alcoholic. Twelve steps never worked for me. <laughs> I've never turned down. Like, uh, there, there's monsters that might kill you. I don't right care. I like cabin. alcohol. Come in. There you go. Uh, I sent you guys both links to uh, share it out to the people. I'm All sharing it now. Good. Hey, send it to um Bo. Gotcha. Oh, besides Bo, I was gonna say um. Oh, I can't think of his name. I always forget his name. Uh, 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 Boston. Uh, uh, no, uh, our, our our biggest fan. We are self sufficient here. Yeah. Stereo uh, stories on deck. He said it to him, but no, I was talking about um. Sort of a world all your own. Guy from North Carolina or South Carolina, one of those Carolina states. Alabama, Jim. Oh, yeah, send it to him. But no, uh. Montez? Yes. Jesus. Are you. <laughs> we'll get it right eventually. <laughs> He's like, here, I'm going to have another drink. And another. And another. Like, dude, you. you, you You're forgetting know. about the most important step in the 12 steps, the 13th, which is relapse. He's like, huh, I never had that. I drank the whole time. <laughs> you, you know it's going to get bad because the music has gotten scary. It's He's like, I have point. scary. It's just... Radford. Radford. <laughs> Radford. Radford, would you please step over here? I'd like you to meet someone. He's like, bitch, no. I won't talk to him. I'm like, I am the lawyer. I am doing number things. Oh, wow. A T-Rex is going to eat me in like 40 years. <laughs> There's no need to shout, doctor. I'm right here. I'd like you to meet Captain Thorne Sherman. This is my other assistant, Radford Bain. How do you do? Two new litters since lunch, Doctor. Both 
support GT116. Oh, That's shit. Good, but, uh, we can breed them to the 205 group in about three weeks. Uh, is this like the precursor to Jurassic Park? It's like first. a crappy Jurassic Park. If you agree. It's like Jurassic <laughs> Budget. <laughs> I had eleven dollars. <laughs> We've spared every expense. We can do about that. Glad to meet you. Sherman, wasn't it? Actors, we can't afford them. They're alcoholics. <laughs> we went to an AA meeting and offered coffee and donuts. So we gave people coffee and donuts. Someone didn't remind him to eat. Must be very interesting work. What's his field? Biology. He specialized in genetics, heredity. I'm afraid. Oh man, that's the. Uh... Think what would happen if you could isolate and identify the inherited fact in each gene. Why is Germans always fucking shit up? Oh no! You know what we should do next week? We should watch uh, human human centipede. We can't. It's not public domain, obviously. Let's <laughs> make it black and white. No one, well, the second one is black and white. Never mind. The the uh, the nightmares are public domain, though. What reason? Overpopulation. I can tell you one thing that's uh, not a problem now, public domain. In time. What is? <laughs> We're half as big as we are now. Patrick's face is public domain. Yep. Oh boy. Hey, look at this revealing dress I'm wearing, Dad. He's like, you can see an ankle. I prefer it don't. He's like, don't talk to him. <laughs> Let me just show. Him. Dude, that's like his eleventh drink. He's like, dude, I, I, I definitely have a problem. He's like, he's like, stay away from him. He's already toward the cooking cherry. <laughs> the cooking cherry. It's full of salt. I don't even know why that weirdo's drinking it. Has a hurricane ever hit this island before that you know of? I, I hate how he's saying hurricane. Hurricane. <laughs> hurricane. 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 Yeah, I was going to say, it sounds like a Street Fighter move. Like, <laughs> I hope he doesn't hurricane me. Oh, he hurricane me. This one's building up very fast. Pressure drops very quickly in the center. I'd advise you to get some doors and windows open in this place. Oh. <laughs> hmm. This vodka tastes a lot like water. I didn't sign up for this. I signed up for the good stuff. Why are rations getting short? Rations? rations. Dude, this guy cannot speak. <laughs> he's like that guy that yells at people like, you need to learn how to speak English. And he's like, rations. Not delayed anyway. Takes a long time for a sea like that to quiet down. Well, if you're worrying about me, you need I'm a good thing. He's got to be shooting like tap water at this point, right? <laughs> Stop it, cause... Got them opened, all right. Honey, homie, I'm getting drunk looking at you. Oh, Captain, <laughs> let me fresh you a drink. Dude, no, <laughs> please don't. <laughs> he needs no more alcohol. <laughs> He's like, here, have another drink. It's turning into a PSA for alcoholism prevention. <laughs> He's like, hey, I, I, uh, I also have some lewds. Would you like some lewds? We get randy on this island, especially if there's a hurricane coming. We have a special ration <laughs> of. Uh... <laughs> we have all kinds of rations. Oh, this guy. He's the fuck up of the entire bunch. How much you want to bet? This is the sole survivor of Group 30. 28 months old today. Well, that's equivalent to 140 years to us. That's right. Yet it still maintains low metabolism without... Metabolism? Uh, look, just random animal uh, like cruelty. Like, like, Girl, let me pull this animal by its tail. <laughs> I'll this teach is, it to be an animal. I feel like this guy is the slight inspiration for Matt Groening's doctor. Doctor, uh, uh, the the professor uh, from looks like a small rat. Simpsons. Holy in the night. These little fellows are poison. Poison. They have a birth cycle of ten to fourteen days, and using them, we can establish traits. We can trace the progressions to a number of generations over a short period of time. Why are Germans always trying to fuck with genetics? Because they're crazy. That's an error. He's like, they stopped us from doing the other thing. Now we're going to do this thing. <laughs> what other thing? I don't want to talk about it. We're all on vacation. <laughs> See? Does he bite? It's like, excuse me, 1939 to 1945 is missing in my tourism guide? He's just been fed. Oh, late reaction. 
Rashford? I got Bradford. it. Whoosh. Don't let that scare you. It's going to get worse. He's like, don't worry. I've already had 26 drinks. My liver's already dead. <laughs> It's like well fucking done. boat, fucking them. bullshit, <laughs> fucking boat. <laughs> that will do it. Yeah. Why are they keeping it so far offshore? Yeah, you know he's gonna die. Well, yeah. I'm about to cry. First of all, he's cutting about to die. And when they are it's a scary enough, movie they, from the 50s. <laughs> what's That's one? Like being a, maybe no offense, but with one African American, so. It, it's uh, it, it's like a white girl as she's running from a scary movie in the eighties. She's gonna go oh, and fall for no reason. All right, what did you trip on? She's like oh. the air. Oh, I got stabbed up like sixteen times. It, it, it's like this guy's gonna have more alcohol. Bradford. Oh, I said, God damn it, get back here. Make this fucking true. Like we made shrews. Like, like I just want somebody to be like, "Hey, can, can we stop here? Why? Well, we made shrews. Like, who the fuck wants shrews? Let's make some shrews. You, you think they were just like really fucked up and they meant to do shrooms? <laughs> Probably. Oh, oh, their eyes just met. Gilligan's like, right. gonna get lucky. He's like, I'm going to get my daughter drunk so you can uh, have your way with her. I like drinking in the 50s because it's like, here, have a drink with your drink. Exactly, I'm like. He's taking him to the bathroom. That's nice. Hold him back. Now we kill him. <laughs> He's like, kill the shrew. Looks like a mustached Kevin James. Like I heard, I heard he's a bit of a douche. You heard it here first, everybody. Kevin James is a douche. You got a problem too? At least that's what, what I heard hey, from his former co-host, Nazi. Kings and Queen. Nazi, but you will live on the cheap tomorrow. Well, I think that all depends on the wind and the sea, don't you? Si. Si, senor. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Maybe more like a John Lovowitz. <laughs> I feel the point. I you mean John Lovitz? Well, I'm glad to no, hear No, John Lovitz. Now, if anybody else is concerned about mm -hmm. my sailing tomorrow, why, you see, they feel the point, too, huh? I don't like to repeat myself. Okay, he doesn't see. like... The Gilligan, the skipper, to a billionaire and his wife, a movie star, the professor and Marianne here getting killed by shrews. How is shrews a scary thing? Like, if I saw a shrew, I'd be like, oh, it's a shrew. I've, I've had to dispose of shrews. Yeah, they're, they're not scary, they're invasive. <laughs> like, oh, God, they're invasive. <laughs> Of your drunken of the shrews. Look, Ann, this is a mistake any one of us might have made. I was drunk. I left I'm it open. a little sick of being called an irresponsible drunk. Now, believe me, I am. <laughs> you're a drunk and you're playing with the shrews. The shrews. Honey, I was drunk. I, I forgot to pull out. <laughs> Here for a cigarette. Here, I have some lung cancer. Hey, doctors prescribed those back in the day. They gotta be safe. They're not. I want to leave, but I want my father to go with me. Well, then, why doesn't he? Well, the plot. Many times, but he's adamant. I'm sure Jerry has a lot to do with this decision. He tried to convince me that the crisis will only last for a few. Wow. wow. This is certainly a cozy little scene. 
Might even be called intimate. Boy meets girl. Stop and it, Snow. I'll smell a threesome. What I do or have to say does not concern you. A menage a shrew, if you will. More, my dear. I'm concerned with you, me, and the you shrew. And I intend to keep it that way. <laughs> You uh, made the shrew too. <laughs> 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 hey, you want to get free here with a bowl of shrooms? <laughs> it's like we thought we were making shrooms. I told you that guy drinks too much. Hashtag wind noises. Run, homie, run. It ain't safe. <laughs> and that's when they knew they fucked up. <laughs> Why didn't he stay on the boat? I would have just stayed on the. Ah, not lightning. That's that literally the same lightning animation. We bought it for three dollars. Shut up. We can't afford this. Oh yeah. Get up! Get your ass up! Why do you really think that was gonna work? Like I'm gonna climb up this one stick. They're obviously murder shrews. Are those feral hogs? <laughs> No, they are killer shrews. Shrews from space. You can jump in the flimsy ass tree. You're kind of safe if you just stay in that tree. That's the idea. Yeah. <laughs> if he kept his ammo, climbed up that tree, and then aimed for their heads, he, he, would, he would be the hero, and there would be no more shrews, and this movie would already be over. You knock me down getting inside the that I can't stand it. He's like, I was scared, and you were in the way. I pushed you over. All right, but I advise you not to mention that to anyone. I'm gonna complete these experiments with your father, regardless of anything. Do you understand that? Nobody is gonna take this chance away from me. Yeah, I'm Cheryl. Experiments, whether you like it or not. She like, I want to talk to the manager. Chicken I heard there's asking. killer shrews about. Oh my god. Time for dinner. Time for dinner. We're gonna eat shrew. They aren't giving a very good look of whatever the fuck they dressed up. I think it's dog. They are raccoon dogs. I told you that flimsy ass should stay in that flimsy ass tree. It's a 200-pound man. He ain't living. If he only had cheese. Cheese deters the shrew. Of course, he lost the fucking black man. Shocker. You know, if one of those trees crashes through, it might just Look, knock Any tree on this side of the house will fall away from it, so just relax. Well, what if shrews come through, through the window? Well, I. The shrews! For your hospitality, I am. I'll see you tomorrow. So on. Your ship is safe. So, from a level of uh, 1 to 10, how worried are you about Why? mutant shrew attacks? You scared or lonesome? Well, um, zero. Like, I wonder if anybody, after watching this movie, like, just wakes no, up with PTSD, is it. like, fucking shrews, man. Well, who's gonna stop me? You? Like, the dude. shrews, they're gonna get me. Like, they're no, not real. Like, they could be. <laughs> I mean, yeah, heard of PTSD from the fucking uh, murder walk from last because year. Y'all heard about them. Wouldn't you like to explain that? He's like, that's shrews. Sit down here, I will. <laughs> it's always shrews. Not very becoming, anyway. Do you believe in carrot cake? Did she say, do you believe in carrot cake? No, she didn't. You're just... What are you doing? I'm watching this fucking shrew movie. Uh, I'm having a hard time. I usually watch everything with captions. Have you ever heard of a shrew? Oh, yeah, we have to drink. Oh, then shrew must be the common name for those cute little animals. Cute. They're murder animals. Murder. They're the most horrible animals. Murder. As father told you, they breed within three weeks after birth. They last yeah, yeah, around I one year. I know what your father told me, but what's that got to do with me opening that gate? There are two or three hundred giant shrews out there. 
Monsters weighing between 50 and 100 pounds. I have a bat. <laughs> 50 to 100. You do know we have to take another thing, Wait a minute, you must be kidding. I'm Why? I'm not kidding. That's as big as a bird on a wolf. And what's more, they are beginning to starve. I want to eat people. They are, they are angry no shrews. You didn't want me to go out there. Thanks for saving my skin. Well, I'm sorry I had to threaten you with a gun. But I didn't know how <laughs> else to stop you. No, it was very effective. Dude, I could have used my vagina. All you had to do was tell me about them. I hoped I wouldn't have to, but you changed everything when you started to leave. She's like, it was I a secret. You, you weren't supposed to know about the shrews. The shrews. That's right, Captain Thorne. And if you'd stuck with your rowboat and played captain instead of trying to play detective, you wouldn't have to worry about how many are out there, would you? That's enough, Jerry. So he's like, shut up. I wasn't even asking. I was trying to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even get me involved in your shrewdness. What's wrong, Ed? All right, so the German doctor. To to the Deuce doctor. Started to tell him about the shoes. And the left. And the last. You might as well know the whole story. It's half of it. And the slutty. This is like a crappy version of Young Frankenstein. <laughs> it's Frankenstein. I guess you're all little jumpy cats. <laughs> it's oh, like. Sorry. Hey, like, here, let me have a Lucky Strike filterless. The I best cigarette ever. Or tasty. Nice. It's not. Nice. It's not. Nice. Definitely not. I know it is. Yeah, it's got a little known actor, Gene Wilder, in it. Mel Brooks, that guy did it. I heard he does things. But the rate of growth yeah. was abnormal. The rate of growth is abnormal. I'm interested. The shrews, they get bigger and bigger, and then they get hungrier and hungrier. Well, all you gotta do is take those out back, hit them with a shovel, and throw them in the stew. No. Like we say in the hood, well, you know exactly what I'm talking about, too, Joe. Fire. Get them with, get them with a pellet gun. We did everything in the world to exterminate them, but no apparent luck. He's like, wait, none of us know how to shoot them. We shake our fists at them like this. We're like, ah. only at night, unless starving. But the fact that two of them charged Anne and Jerry at the gate last evening indicates that the available food on the island is nearing depletion. That's okay. They got my first mate. He was kind of big. They'll be eating them for a minute. It'll take a couple days. They like them. What do we do during that time? They like them chocolate. Stay indoors and wait until it's over. Oh no! Uh, now we're going outside. The power. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, what are we gonna do? We don't have power. What are we gonna do? Let's go outside and fight the shrews. Oh my god! Run in this room. We found a head. Well, you know this dead guy? We found his liver. He's like, can I have that liver? I need it. Don't ask why. It's not because of the drinking. Poseriasis. <laughs> the ending is the captain's like, you're all gonna die. They're like, why? I'm g I've made a deal with the shrews. They get your body, but I get your livers and your kidneys. Wanting her father to leave the island with her. Makes I'm gonna duct tape them all together. I'd be much Have a super for the liver. If I went with her for a few days. As a matter of fact, I think I'll talk to the doctor about that. That might be the answer. And another thing, I don't take my life in his hand. I was about to be like this motherfucker. Looks to me duck. like the type that'd try anything. That left-handed dinner invitation. That was just to keep me here till after dark, wasn't it? So we could feed you to the shrews. You're like, ah, oh, I knew it. I wanted you here tonight. I thought something terrible was going to happen. Why, well, you still feel the same way about it? Mm. Not as much. Not since you're here. I know everything. How many of these people are in the Actors Hall of Fame? Probably none. Did he survive? The horse is like, shit, the fire! I love the open fire, don't you? Mm-hmm. Is this the origin story of the phantom? The wind has a lonesome sound, doesn't it? Sure does. 
Like in Sweden, we don't have a wind this strong. You're a strange man, boy. I never met anyone like you. Oh? You seem so disinterested in everything. Aren't you the least bit curious? Don't you wonder about the unusual things around here? The guns, the fins, the shattered windows, my accent, anything? I'll tell you something. I'm only interested in anything that concerns me, then I do something about it. You're going to sail with me tomorrow, whether your father comes to me. Awful lot of horse noise. Everybody, go out into the wilderness. Oh. Ah, karate punch. <laughs> I know. The are going out there, opening that gate. Now somebody needed it. Did you hear it, Doctor? Sound like a human voice. I was thinking a rook with the livestock. The shoes got into the bomb. They ate the things. They always get in. They are the shrews, bomb. you know. What was it, Father? The livestock. Did Mario forget to bar those doors? No. I put them in the barn myself. They couldn't get through the wood doors. They dug through the dirt floor. Let me ask you something, Doctor. How could you expose all our lives, yourself included, with those things out there? All you had to do was get the Coast Guard or the Navy to come in here and burn them out. Those things <sighs> got loose. Any unusual experiment can produce unusual results. That's why I chose this island. It's isolated. Miles of open water in any direction. Shows the map of island. <laughs> this shrew's like waste all the boat. <laughs> On our way to Texas to get Patrick. <laughs> the world is not yeah, shows yeah. map of island, Isla Nubar. This species does not swim. And as far as the shrews are concerned, this island is their world. Very soon. Right here on this island is going to be a miniature reproduction of an overpopulated world. And you'll see the importance of what we're working to avoid. I'm not concerned about all this theory. What I'm concerned about is our lives. I don't want to be shrew food. Panic when they run out of Over. food and go on a 24-hour Over. Then why does it sound familiar? You know they have oh, yeah, the human race. That's possible. Their main diet has been the small animals on the island. That's go, go, go. Would have been depleted 18 or 20 hours ago. And that's why they went after the livestock. There's still some food on this island before they reach the crisis. Where? You looked at it. My first mate. <laughs> no worry about them digging in here. The floors are tiled. The walls aren't, Doctor. They're adobe. Our safest bet would be on that boat. You may be right. You can reach your boat in daylight. The shrews will gorge themselves on livestock. There's no sense looking at the dark side. And there's no sense minimizing a serious situation. It leaves you completely unprepared. It's Ronald you. Reagan. Now, we certainly He's like flat tax. Trickle down economics. Ah, drink. <laughs> like, like, if I was fighting killer shrews, I would not be on here uh, drinking heavily. And then me. Shutter all the windows, make sure they're locked good and tight, check all these walls. But then again, probably like, fuck it, if I'm gonna die, at least let me get them, at least get no, drunk and then get them I drunk while they eat me. I couldn't stand it Marinate in that myself. Home, no. All right, as you wish. But try to get some sleep. I was like, don't let the shrews in. No shrew. If I wake up and there's a shrew in my bed, there'll be curtains for everyone.
Take it fair. Senor Farrell, it is Mario. You are next to make the patrol, no? Uh, sure, Mario. Come on in. I've been, been waiting for you to finish. Hey, Gondo, you I'm might want to take a step. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sit down. Here. My liver's like, I hate Patrick. <laughs> I'm not distracted. I'm watching this shit. Just because I'm my like camera angle is not, not what no, yours are. No, because you're looking down at front. You ain't pulling Sit. nobody. Fine. He's like, I'm rubbing butter on you're myself. He got some boy butter. A man that can be trusted. <laughs> that looks like a killer shrew. That definitely looks more like a killer shrew. Yeah, see, see if I saw that, I'd be like, oh, that I'm possibly is a killer shrew. About Mario. And, and that captain, <laughs> you and me. And I'm Imagine a an intelligent girl like her going for a common sea tramp like him. Sea tramp. Ah, damn. I know why. You do too. In case anything goes wrong, she's looking out for her own hide. Yeah, and I, he, he, he's That's gonna get all drunk and be like, you, man, man, I'm gonna take on these shrews right now myself. And I, dude, you're gonna get your ass. You know that one drunk guy is always drunk trying to start a fight? You're like, We're He's like, give me my marble off. lights. I'm like, give me courage, it's a bit. Oh no, oh no, it looks like it could possibly be killer shrews. I'm going They're to gonna get in. you to take my turn at patrolling the house. That's He's like, good. man. But when you finish, don't wake the captain. Come back here and get me. I would be like, dude, I am not going to trust you. <laughs> I'd be like, well, dude. it's not evident who's going to die. Okay. I already know who's next. I hope it's that drunk guy. Well, he'll be that asshole that survives the killer shrew. Oh, no. It's, oh, they got killer shrews up in the house, man. That's bad. Oh dear, I do watch out. Those killer shrews up in the house. Hide underneath something. They can't look underneath. Why does he have a fupa? Oh, there's one out the window peeping. Run! It's peeping Don't investigate. Investigation usually ends bad. He's like, I'm gonna shut the door before <laughs> yeah. we get more of these damn things. Hate killer shrews. He's like, there's no way a killer shrew would be in that hole. No, nope, totally a killer shrew in the hole. He's like, here, I've got some shoelace. That will stop a killer shrew. <laughs> <laughs> tap, tap, tap. Mario. A shrew in the cellar? See, I hear him singing down there. Well, how did he get in? This door break out the kitchen window, but I close it off. He went down there. Why should he go down there? The food for the little ratones. I put it out to him frost. They love it. What did you tell Jerry? No, senor. Here is your turn next. Here is una luz. We kill him, no? Yeah. I'd be like, you can't kill a killer shrew. They have the name kill in their name. That makes them invincible. Invincible. He's like, don't worry, woman. I'll save you. I'm going to use my manliness. What? Right. Sippy sip time. Now we're going down after him. <laughs> but I don't want you to let anybody open that door till I tell you to. You understand? Good girl. Just a crack. Just a crack. Hold on to it. Okay. Wang. 
What happened to opening opening it just a crack? Shh. They're hunting shrews. Uh, oh, he's under. Oh, I saw the shrew. It's underneath the stairs. Oh, you're going towards the underneath the stairs. You're gonna get shrewd. Can't they use peanut butter in like a glue trap? <laughs> Seriously, big glue trap for that shit. Mario, aquí, I see where he was. I do not see where he is. He's behind you. Run! I will be careful. Famous last words to somebody that gets eaten by a shrew. <laughs> uh, oh, he got the crap out of his leg, man. Oh my God! The got him. Ugly. He's like, ah, my only weakness, my leg. Coming back. That is definitely not a Jim Henson puppet. It's like we had seven dollars. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, nah. Why, Why are they using a gun as a tourniquet? <laughs> no wonder they didn't get famous. Like, yeah. They shot them all in one scene. Excuse me. He did. How did he die from getting slightly bitten on the knee? The hell are they? They're like, ah, oh, I'm bruised. dead. I got this one right away. You couldn't have bled to death. Might as well let go of it. Won't do him any good now. They're all so poisonous. We made that up as we go along. <laughs> I'm not sure. This guy wanted another five dollars to keep doing his his uh hematoxic syndrome. I'm, I'm afraid so. We'll know after pathology. Doctor, that's not the same animal you showed me. That's a monster. He's like, dude, that's what we told you. They're like 150 pounds. What do you think they were? They're big ass fucking controlling the size factor. We seem to have crossed some of the other characteristics. What's that? Well, you certainly did a good job of it. I've known that for some time, Captain. <sighs> Would you please give me a hand with Mario? Bradford? Bring up. Yeah, poor yeah. Mario. How are you going to die? Well, like, I bet you he asked for more money. Huh? He's like, look, dude. I have to walk Where's around here and talk to all these dumbasses. And, and I got to run away from there. Killer Shrews, which is the stupidest scary movie ever. He's like, look, I'm... I was originally going to make $25. I would like to make $30. Like, Extreme they're also poisonous. Poison content in the shrew's saliva. Now compare it with this. So, Careful content is necessary. Any indication of the same poison in Mario's blood will give you the answer. Yes, you're right. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Hold up. So the, so the girl's uh, blood is also poisonous? The fuck? That's the catalyst. <laughs> She's like, I had sex with a shrew. Tell me, uh, was like, you uh, around here are, are you a scientist? She's like, no, I've got poison blood and I have sex with no. shrews. You heard me earlier. That's the uh, study of animal life, isn't it? Right. What do you specialize? What do you specialize? She's like, I'm poisonous, bitch. They died. Well, I had a hand in it, too. And I'm partly to blame. <laughs> At this end, if we ever get off this island, I'll never have anything to do with it again. She's like, I, I, I... It's normally, like normal women. Crap, I will be right back. You can keep the movie going, I got a thing. What's your I thing? 
I gotta deal with something with my mom. Alright, I hope she hit you. Ouch. Beat him with a stick. Bo will give you a stick. He's like, we're, we're hunting shrews still, though. There's shrews everywhere. Right. How is a shrew poisonous? Say Thorn. When does that happen? That's my question. The autopsy has proved what we suspected. Several weeks ago, I concocted the most virulent poison I could with the materials I had at hand. Let me put it out of fate. Mario was killed by poison. Doctor, I wonder if you thought the system of the Sorex enabled them to assimilate that poison. It remained in the salivary glands of their jaws. Isn't that wonderful? Well, I am sorry, of course. I always speak from the clinical point of view. Well, don't you have something to counteract that poison? Once Maria was bitten, I'm afraid there's nothing anyone could have done. This indicates that they cannot afford to get even so much as a scratch from these animals. They are more poisonous than snakes. What, do you think they're all affected? Best way to find out is let them all bite you and see which bite you die after. We might just all get that chance, Jerry. You Damn it, clues. Jerry! Doctor, I've closed all the doors in the house. I suggest we do the same thing with this hall and this lab. We'll cut down the chances of getting in the front of the house. I think if we keep the close watch... He's like, the walls, you don't understand. There, you don't understand. We might make it till daybreak. I fed them keys, too. The They've assimilated, and now they have key fingers. You think they have a chance mm -hmm. to dig it? Of course there's a chance. Anywhere that plaster's off... I'm trying to bet Patrick won't come back. Much where that rain hit it. What's the plaster? Oh. Because if that's the case, I already got the Ah, oh, there's another shrew. He's working on getting in the house. He's breaking in. Oh, he's in. Oh, the two. There's two of them. That's worse than one. <laughs> it's like plucking up a gray hair and take out one, two more come so up. But here's another possibility, Doctor. It's very light out. It'll be daylight soon. We'll take the shrew that killed Mario and throw it over the fence and use it for bait. Mm -hmm. If they uh, show up for it, of course, they'll run for the boats out. But if they don't, then I'll go down and have Rook lay two with a lighter. Then I'll return to the bend and the trail and give you the all-clear signal. Sounds fine, Captain. Good. Then you explain it to the rest. Yes, I will. He's like, listen, we're going to throw a body. I'm going to run like hell. Hopefully it'll work. And I'll end up finding my best mate in the process. He's like, no, he's supposed to be helping me. Well, the bait's been out for 20 minutes. Nothing's touched it. We only come out at night. Here, eat the shrew. Damn you, you took my woman. Even the wind has gone down. Isn't that wonderful? I'm afraid it's not over, my dear. It's just a low. There'll be a lot more. He's right. I'll be back at the bend shortly. Now you watch for my signal. Huh? You can't go now. I'll go with him. Not you, Father. You haven't even fired a gun. Take rather, Jerry. Sure, I'll go. Take the drunkard. And you'll be sure of getting a signal. <laughs> Intense music. Don't 
Don't shoot that gun unless you have to. We've only got 20 rounds all together. Now there's hundreds of shrews. Sherman, you stay away from her. You have that gun pointed at me. Right in the middle of your back. Look, we got enough problems without worrying about Ann. Dear white people, why is it when a female gets involved? Uh, mostly not dear white people. Dear why do white people. Shit, that's why. White dear people white are like, man. ah! I have a shotgun. We're in a right. fight. Like, dude, there are shrews. Like, right now, we don't worry about fighting. Like, I'll whoop your ass later. Let's get away from the shrews first. Exactly. It's not The other problem with white people in scary movies are they're too damn curious, man. That's what my issue is. And that's what oh, look at them all, man. There's like six of them now, dude. The... They just lie. Oh, it doesn't get eaten by a shrew. I got no gun. <laughs> Help me. And the boat. To the gone. boat. Y'all gone, homie. Got to a crib. Where's the skip? Where's the skip? Where's the skip? I'll follow that check line. I gotta find him. He's like, I am well, gonna I'm write him up. Much of it. Would you shut up? I'm not going back. Cause you're what? gonna find him, all right? Staying here. In peace. All right. You suit yourself, but if I were you, I'd swim after that boat. Can't swim. Then stay yes. here. Wait a minute. You gotta give me a gun. Give you a gun? Well, you can't be trusted with a gun. You done fucked up already. Like, right. we are worried about Damn, shoes right now, and you're trying to be a gangster. <laughs> there is a boat right there. Just get that boat and go out. So as it hits the water, it sinks. It's filled with shrews. <laughs> Patrick got quiet all of a sudden. He's like, I don't want to talk. Oh, look what's left of your homeboy. He's like, I found this gun. It's been eaten. This is the gun we had on the boat. Had. They don't leave much, do they? Sherman, we gotta make a deal for us. Where'd Patrick go again? He's leaving again. They've been trailing us on both sides. Where? I didn't see anything. Look, Sherman, you gotta give me a gun. All right. But if you do, don't you run. You stay in front of me, because I don't trust you. That's right. Let him get eaten first. Dude, man, this is why white people suck in scary movies. I'm telling you. It's just like... Their curiosity gets the better of them. That, and then, like, they start fights over nothing. Like, like They're dude. coming! I'm running. That should never be a sentence uttered once. All right. Oh, that's a great way to waste ammo. Man, that's some hoe shit. That's some bitch, straight up bitch shit. I'm sorry. I don't care what anybody say. He's like, dude, as soon as I get over this damn I'll Benz, I'm ass. fucking this dude up. I would. The shrews are out. I couldn't take a chance. Yeah, well, they're going to eat. Bitch. <laughs> like, low key, though, I'd leave Patrick out there to get eaten by shrews. Then the podcast would be all mine. <laughs> Plus, you, you know how many views I'd get on that? I'd be like, my great co-host, I love Patrick. He was eaten by shrews. Don't forget to uh, share and follow this. And, uh, yeah. Take a step, Gonzo. I'm sorry I have a wife. No, we do too, but we, we set this up. Wow. 
Why do I have to let shrews laughing? You like, know, like for real though, like Patrick would get eaten by some shrews. He'd be like looking at his phone, walking by, get attacked by some shrews, not even know what happened. He'd be like, oh, it's the end of Patrick here. Didn't he have it coming, or didn't he? Ah! What happened out there? Oh, nothing much. Jerry just tried to kill me twice in the last five minutes. It's been like 15, bro. Don't be exaggerating. Okay, he tried to I'm shoot right. you. Then y'all went down. You he found out your skipper's dead. You were like, I'm going to get to the boat. Then y'all came back, and then he locked you out. Like, the, all like, 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 oh, it's been five minutes. It has not been five around. minutes. It's been like 15. But yeah, he did try to kill you and feed you some shrews. Man, like that should never be a sentence. Like, ah, shrews. Oh, what's up, Kyle? Here we go. I'll say hello. Hello, Thank sir. Sorry, hello. Thank you for the in. Greatly appreciate it. You casually mentioned animals. You didn't explain to us what we were facing out there. It's Watch out for shrews, though. Because that's what you got to watch out for. Shrews are only mine. Well, okay. Shrews. I didn't know about the hurricane. But not just any shrew. Poisonous shrew. The effect it would have on the shrews. Ah. Uh, I thought. They do they stink. Do and they're poisonous. And, and they're racist. The only two people they've killed in this movie so far is a Mexican dude and a black dude. They are racist, stinky creatures that are probably dogs in costume. But more, still. More than likely. Look, dude, he goes straight to the alcohol. This guy's an alcoholic. He's like, All right, I need some more alcohol to uh, fight the shrews. Ah, it's a shrew. Oh, I bit him. Oh, I got him. Oh, it's the end for him. Somebody kill that shrew. Oh, got him. Double tap that bastard. Slam the door. You all right, doctor? He just ripped my trousers, that's all. Are you sure no, that's all? I'm completely aware of it, Doctor. Like, Let me sit down. I'm going to type for two minutes and die. Yep. You know he's writing, fuck shrews. <laughs> that was a stupid waste of ammunition. Everyone, I'm a clean mess. There's still four of them in there. And crow. How did they get in? Through that kitchen window. That rope must be right. I like how he dies, but he still like covers. I hear let me put my hands down so I can lay down. These racist ass stinky shrews. They killed that guy. Not him. He he did things. He's dead. Hi no shit. They're poisonous shrews. They're coming in. With your Adobe ass. He's like, my feet were tingly, my butt hurt, my eyeball hurt, I'm dead. True death. Sure, sure. Craig is on cover, I am, and I'll cover him. You'll cover me, but who'll cover you? Shut up! We can get on this mad old slave. Let's go get him. Shut up! Uh, here, pimp slap. Pimp slap twice. Listen, you whore. I told you what to do. Sure, you stink, and we gotta fight them. See, Kyle, I got your back. Ah, he's coming through the hole. Here, get a stick. Yes. Let's just cover it with the cover with couch. It'll be all right. Wouldn't it be better like stab it in the head with a knife? You figure. Perfect. Problem solved. He'll never make it through the couch. He just made it through Adobe, but a couch impenetrable to both. And they just keep on coming. There. He's like, not the booze, you stupid bastard. <laughs> Anything but the booze. Oh, 
enough stuff here to barricade those walls. I'll tell you, we'll pile some of those crates up over there. That fruit's our last chance. Here, help me, Doctor. Oh, yeah. Get the food in here, I'm gonna fuck you up. And of course We're going to play the shell game. It'll work. It'll work. But these drums are too tall for the face. If the shoes don't push us over, the wind will. Not if we lash them together. Hey, are there any more around here? Only that one over there. I think the only thing worse than this is that Christian. Not the religious group. Uh, a friend of mine and somebody that's listening to this is mutual friend. <laughs> Patrick's like, I, I, I was talking about the Christians. Yeah. Alright, we found another drum. Oh, what a coincidence. It's another. He's like, I'm gonna bite the shot your ass. Get some rope and put it on that latch so we can read from the ground. She's like, ah, oh, we got more screws. I like how they continue to show their teeth. Like, look at these teeth. I'm gonna use them to bite the crap out your ass. <laughs> Let me in. I just want to hug you with my teeth. Hit it with the torch. You can actually tell that's a real torch, which is frightening. Dude, it's like $11. We're ready for a shrew battle. We're making a tank. Okay, we're gonna hide under some barrels. That will holy work. Anybody ever seen the A team? <laughs> yeah, this is kinda like the shittiest A team ever. <laughs> right. Like the Z team. Just let him go. I'd be like, all right, Jerry. Best luck to you, buddy. Oh, then they have to find a grinder to get one of the barrels off. So he's like, I'm wet. I'm hot and bothering for you. <laughs> hey, he's too stupid to say. Ten years later, Jerry becomes the king of the shrews. He's like, I have had sex with all the shrews. <laughs> they consider me... Like a lover and a king. I'm the shrew daddy. Who knows I have sex with them and then eat the offspring. Alright, everybody into this fucking turtle shell. <laughs> nope. Oh shit, there's like ten of them. Holy shit. Had you heard about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Shrew? <laughs> Jesus Shrew's a dick. He's like, thou shalt be filled with poison and to bite oh, people on the knee slightly. Oh, what's the matter, Jerry? You realize you fucked up? He's like, oh crap, I can go with them. Wait for me. He's gonna jump on top of the barrels. 
He's like, I'm gonna die here. Or I will have to have sex with the shrews. Probably have sex with the shrews. Will you not drop your part of barrel shearing? You want a rest? You tired? What'd you say? Well, I speak English in America. He's keeping their eyes closed. All right, keep your eyes closed. They can't get at you through the slit. Ah, almost. He's like, here. He's like, if you put your hand here, I can poke it. <laughs> and I'm going to faint. I can barely hold up my I'll be all right in a minute. All right. You walk. I'll drag for a while. <laughs> He's like, here, put your hand up here so we can get the okay, poison. Get flip us over. This could have been avoided by adding shoulder straps to the inside of the barrels. Well, you know what? You weren't there to build a shrew holder. I would have probably had a better idea, to be fairly honest. You would have already been eaten, dude. No. <laughs> you would have been like you the guy been. at the boat. <laughs> I bet you he's not dead. What you want to bet? I bet you he's on the boat. Just like, no, I ain't fucking come back. <laughs> like, I just know this guy's gonna be a hoe and fuck shit up, you know what I mean? Because there's always this one guy that's a hoe that fucks shit up. And it be him. I can see why nobody wanted to renew the copyrights on this movie. I wouldn't. This movie is a work of art. To Helen Keller. And I'm dead. The shoe's like, you totally missed us with a shotgun, now we're gonna eat you. Oh, they got my foot! Check your foot! No, my foot is free, but he got my boot! Is there a scratch? No, not a boot! Right, keep your foot in a fucking barrel, Cheryl. Dude, that's like the dumbest shit. You know how deaf he would be now? <laughs> He's like, I shouldn't. Uh, come on. The shrew's like, come on, we're going to totally flip you over. Like, we're going to get you guys. You know that, right? Just let you know. Like, no, we just hit the sand trap at the giant golf course. Uh. This was like water. Ew. The shrews have a submarine. <laughs> <laughs> Swim for it. Okay. I want one person to go. I don't know how to swim. <laughs> Fuck, there's no ladder on my boat. Ah, the shrews have the boat. <laughs> That'd be funny. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. we uh, I tried to kill them with a propeller, and they uh, they now have propellers. And uh... and, and, and pontoons. I we are safe, aren't we? I mean, the storm. Sure. She rode out the first half, all right, and that's always the roughest. Anyway, riding an anchor, I'll get a chance to learn like more about the Swedish accent. <laughs> 24 hours, there'll be one shrew left on the island, and he'll be dead of starvation. An excellent example of overpopulation. The shrew's the like, no, we totally bought a boat. <laughs> I'm not going to worry about overpopulation just yet. Of course you won't. Yeah, I'm about to fuck the shit out of her. Is this movie literally only an hour and nine minutes long? <laughs> wow. Shortest movie ever. Right. Well, that's good for the first round anyway. All right. Anyway, uh, what did everybody think of uh, the killer shrimp? <laughs> <laughs> I gave it... Uh... 
I give it two scrotums down. I, I give it uh, two shrews. <laughs> I give what about you, Bo? A, I give it a shroom and a half. A whole shroom and a half. Oh, wow. That was an awful, awful whatever the hell. So what have you learned from this movie? Uh, how, how far we've come with prosthetics. Jurassic Park kind of ripped this movie and off. Graphic. <laughs> we bought it. How far we come with prosthetics? Well, the uh, close-ups of the Come giant shrews were filmed using hand puppets, and the wider shots were used with dogs with made up to look like shrews. <laughs> the more uh, you know. Well, let me see. The film was a companion piece to the giant... Gilla Monster, nineteen fifty nine. Yeah, uh, is that, is that I think it's Gila Monster, by the way. Uh, I could play it if you guys want to go another hour, but I don't think you do. I mean, I'll, no. I'll, I'll I, I don't care. I want to go to bed. Uh, you know what? Tomorrow, uh, we'll be doing the giant Gila Monster. That's it's Gila Monster. It's Gila. Gila. No, Gila. it's Spanish, you jackass. It's I understand Monster. that, but Patrick. this is. Made in Get Texas by hillbillies. It's Gila Monster. It's Gila Monster. Get out your feelings, Patrick. Get out your feelings. It's Gila Monster. A new colorized version was released alongside the giant Gila Monster <laughs> that eats jalapenos <laughs> and quesadillas. Quasadillas. Quasha-sha-sha-sha-sha. Corn tortillas. The body count was four. Four people died from the killer shrews. Shrews. Like, 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 seriously, what kind of fever dream was this, though? Like, seriously, like, the, well, like I'm telling one... you, it was rip off. The, it, it was Jurassic Park's rip off material. No, hold on, listen, listen, listen. How so, much absinthe did they let, to make well, this? Enough. How much crystal meth did they smoke? Just like a couple of rednecks in <laughs> Texas. I got an idea for a movie. Or listen. opioids. You know, uh, you know those, uh. You know those little creature shrews? Like you mean like the mousey type thing? Looks like a mouse. Yes. Think if they were giant. And yeah, we could probably just kill those too, and they'd probably eat grain, and you'd be annoyed. Yes. Now listen. And they're poisonous now. Like yeah. That still it doesn't sound scary. Like they're poisonous shrews, and they're big. It's like listen, my mom gave me eleven hundred dollars. We can do this. <laughs> you know, in 1959, $1,100 is like 20 k Right. I want to know what the budget of this movie was. It was probably like $14 and like an EBT card half full. Uh, hold on. It is one of the most successful regional films, of course. Thanks, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that that's a statistic. <laughs> Texas is like, we loved it. The budget was $123,000. Hey, so. They used 90% of that was the liquor budget. <laughs> no <Yeah>. shit. <laughs> they bought the boat. <laughs> <laughs> and then went fishing after shooting their, what, I'm assuming like three hours of shooting. The money actually went to genetically engineered dog shrew monsters. <laughs> it's like somebody's like, we need to make this happen. <laughs> oh, wow. All they of you really... went to the makeup cost of that horrible shrew bite. <laughs> A rating of 4.1 out of 10. <laughs> and they even <laughs> went so far in 2012... To make a sequel, Return of the Killer Shrews. Oh, too bad that's not public domain. I totally watched that crap f fest. Right. What? Hopefully, it'd be a better update compared to. <laughs> but damn, just damn. I uh, know, dude. Like, I'd be scared of that. Oh no. The shrews are coming to get me. No. Or oh, in the words of uh, Q 
Carrie White's mother. The shrews are gonna laugh at you. <laughs> True. Speaking of that, I might watch that before I go to bed. Uh, hold on. Boom. I'm going to pull this up on YouTube. Why not? Um, we're going to pull up the trailer to... Uh, the giant Gila monster. Giant okay. Gila monster? Yes, the giant Gila monster. Gila monster. It probably yeah. is. Like, anybody want to make a bet of what they're going to call it in the trailer? Gila. Gila. I'm gonna go Gila because here we go. The black monster, ain't that some shit? <laughs> Somebody was hurt, but all over this thing. What is this black menace that kills everything it sees and hears? No human mind could imagine the enormous destructive power of this maddening. There's not thing. one thing scary about Gila monsters. If your young people in love, like oh god, they're walking very slowly towards us. Look out. I mean, that's the only thing that makes them scary is that they're going to poison us. That's or as it. Good as dead. <laughs> <laughs> Well, tomorrow we will be watching uh, the giant Gila monster as a continuation of this show. Oh God, he's going towards some Hot Wheels. Oh yeah, we totally, we're, we're, we're watching this. I'm I, I smell dinner. I'll watch this now. I'm too tired for this. Otherwise, I would. I'd literally be down to watch this right now if I wasn't tired. Yeah, I want to go to bed. <laughs> they didn't right. pronounce it at all. All right. So, so tomorrow will be the know. giant Gila monster. <laughs> all right. So recommendation for after the giant Gila monster. I looked up one I definitely want to watch called the She Beast, and it's public domain. Which movie? It's called The She Beast. Oh God, that sounds like and something Patrick used to marry. My my, uh, my suggestion is, uh, can we do like four um, fifteen minute PSA shorts? They have to be good ones though. Like, uh, we'll have to do like the offensive gay one. Oh my God, uh, that one's always funny. Like, watch out, they'll get ya. And it's that like one, I heard he was a homosexual. <laughs> they have acid blood. Be careful. He'll call, if he calls on you, you'll turn homosexual. <coughs> you'll like Madonna. <laughs> I mean, I already like Madonna. So. You'll like Madonna and show tunes. <laughs> oh, you'll think no. Like a Prayer is a great song. Okay, I do, but still. <laughs> and we gotta watch yeah. that one, like an anti-drug one, and then like, a, like one of the hygiene ones, like uh, the hygiene oh, like, ones are always funny. And then, like, it's one like, of the 19. You know why Jimmy doesn't get dates while he's 12? <laughs> because he, he smells like a killer shrew. <laughs> <laughs> Good tie in. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. All right. Well, anyway, thanks to our uh, lovely viewers. And uh, we will be finishing up this as a two part series tomorrow with the giant Gila monster. Or the Gila monster, Gila, or Gila, or uh, or Jim the lizard. Jim the lizard man. All right. Anyway, good night and good luck. Have a good, good night, luck. Y'all.